Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So tonight we're going to talk about something brought on in part by a message from a single mother, a rather touching one, and in part because some sports ball player got dragged on Twitter the day before yesterday because he took his boys to the range, which I personally have no problem with. The reasons he took them, the things that were said and his teaching techniques, well, there's a lot of room for criticism there. A lot. But rather than relive all of that criticism, uh, I noticed when he was responding, he talked about the bonding experience. And I get that. You're some famous whatever sport. You spend a lot of time on the road. You want to create memories of value with your kids. I understand that. There's a movie called Major Pain. If you ever wondered about my dad, that's him. <laughs> I mean, that is him. Uh, a lot of this is going to sound like a joke. It's not. Before I left elementary school, I could tell you the difference between a fish bed, a flanker, and a fox bat. A T-62 and a T-72. I had a sand table that uh, most times was used for my Hot Wheels and G.I. Joe but it was also used to teach me the difference between strategic, operational, and tactical, how to conduct ambushes and cut supply lines. I could break down most NATO or Warsaw Pact small arms. By the time I left middle school, I had shot most of them. Now, because of my life path, a lot of that information actually turned out to come in pretty handy. I'm older and slower today, but uh, I'm still more than qualified to teach unarmed defense. So when my son, my eldest, wanted to learn about it, you know what I did. I took him outside and sent him to somebody else. It's not the kind of contact I want to have with my kid. I don't want to bond over violence if it's really bonding. I value a lot of memories from childhood. Building the models of those tanks and planes. Physically building the sand table. Using newspaper and masking tape and spray paint to create the terrain. I value that. Really do. But if you only have a limited amount of time to spend with your kid what kind of memories do you really want to create? Do you really want that positive feeling that they get from spending time with you to be about destruction? Competitiveness, destruction, all of this stuff. The entire world is going to teach them that. You don't have to. You don't have to. Cooperation, creation, building. That's what they're going to have to struggle to learn. That's where they need you. One of the most important things I think I learned in my childhood was that you don't win the next war by preparing for the last. There's a quote most times when this quote is presented, it's cut short and it completely changes the meaning because they cut it off. I must study politics and war that my sons may have liberty to study mathematics and philosophy. And that's where the quote normally ends. It gives the impression that uh, each generation has to keep up on politics and war to kind of keep it alive. It's not the whole quote. I must study politics and war that my sons may have the liberty to study mathematics and philosophy. My sons ought to study mathematics and philosophy, geography, natural history, naval architecture, navigation, commerce, and agriculture in order to give their children a right to study painting, poetry, music, architecture, 
statuary, tapestry, and porcelain. John Adams. Today, everybody, everybody, most men anyway, seem to want their kid to be a warrior. Everybody wants their kid to be a warrior. Right up until the point it's time for them to leave and go do warrior stuff. Then you don't want it anymore. She realized it's not a game. The thing is, that's preparing for the last war. The next war for humanity's survival is not going to be fought by soldiers or sailors and pilots. It's going to be fought by engineers, architects, and philosophers. We need to stop preparing for the last war because the next war is going to be different. We don't need more killers. We need more engineers. You want them to win the next war? Focus on that. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.